think aligning yourself with Vladimir Putin is going to be good for South Africa. But that's what it is now. South Africa is in alliance with Russia, with India, uh, with Brazil, with China. So why are you asking me as if it's a, some policy that is going to be implemented South Africa right after now. I took over? South Africa is in alliance with Russia now. South Africa right now calls itself non-aligned. In the context of the war, but these are two different things. South Africa is an ally of Russia. Now, the second question is, where does South Africa stand on the war? It says I'm a non-aligned in relation to war, but Russia remains South Africa's friend. So we cannot create confusion around there. Don't create an impression that it is Malema who's going to come and create an alliance with Russia. But there are some very specific Actually, if, I will if, go, if I may I will say go so. beyond that. I will go beyond the, the friendship with Russia. And in the war, I will align with Russia and I will even supply the weapons to Russia. Because Russia is in a war with, with imperialism and any agenda that seeks to push back uh, imperialist agendas, it's well within the policies of the EFF. You say, quite clearly, I would arm Vladimir yes. Putin. Yes. You know that the International Criminal Court wants Vladimir Putin to face war crimes charges. Hmm. It must start with Tony Blair. It must start with George Bush. It must go to Barack Obama. Then it can go to... Uh, Putin. So, so let's get this so straight. You're saying to me and, that and your, your uh, policy, uh, if you were in power in South Africa, is quite simple. That your enemy's enemy, and it seems you regard the US and its allies as the enemy, yes. your enemy's enemy yes. is your friend. Never mind if he's a suspected war criminal. Never mind if the UN and the ICC say they have compelling evidence of Russian war crimes. You don't care. As far as you're concerned, my enemy's enemy no, is you, my friend. You, you're exaggerating, but, but another point which you don't want me to go there is that um, Tony Blair accepted that they were wrong about Saddam Hussein uh, to an extent that he did a, an apology of a thug, right? You, you have never called for his arrest. A man admitting that I, w I was wrong uh, uh, to how many people died there, uh, uh, killed by those people. So all I'm saying is we are with President Putin because uh, it's not any of my enemy. It is an anti-imperialist agenda that says the American dominance and its allies should be undermined at all costs. Anti-imperialism, even though Vladimir Putin is quite explicit about his desire to revive a form of empire, he says countries like Ukraine have no right to independent sovereign existence. He appears to believe that the best thing would be to revive an empire, the Soviet empire. But you're anti-imperialist? We are anti-imperialist. That's a debate for another day. Uh -huh. The war is not what he's talking The war is about the expansion. And had there been a, a, a common ground found, this could have been avoided. We are not for imperialism, even if it were to come from Russia. If he does that, we'll condemn it. But we know for a fact that progressive forces such as China have also aligned themselves uh, with Putin to try and create an alternative from the imperialist uh, domination of the world. And that's what the EFF is.